What up, Ferocula family? It's it's your boy, it's your boy Kenny. Okay, I'm coming to you live from the iPhone. Okay, I got one of these iPhone rectangle things, and uh, I don't really know how these dang things work, but I'm making it work for you guys. So forgive any weird audio quality, um, anything strange like that. You know, we do our best given circumstances. Uh, today, I want to give you a studio tour, tour of my studio, tour of my office space. Um, I want to try and recapture the same feeling, the same nostalgic magic that watching the Cinemassacre Mike uh, DVD collection videos brings. That the fucking video, I, I don't know why, for some reason, I watch that video hella times. There's a comment on that video that says the same thing. It's a weird phenomenon, but I hope to capture that same kind of rewatchability with this. So, well, here's the outside. Okay, well, there's a painting I did. For my parents, it's sideways. We don't have optimal storage for paintings, but here's my office, okay? He just like me for real, Vincent Van Gogh. If you don't know who this guy is, well, let me tell you, man, you got some, you got some catching up to do in the art world, let me tell you, okay? Forgive me, I'm a little winded. I just, just don't work out, but okay. Let's go ahead and go inside and we'll go ahead and, oh, oh, Nelly. Okay, well, let's just get a kind of a cursory look around. Okay. Okay. Yep, there's a lot, of, a lot of stuff. Okay, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Where to start? Okay, well, let's start at this desk. Okay. Uh, here's my, my non-computer desk, the desk where if I'm sitting here, I'm drawing or writing or journaling or I have something specific I need to be doing. Um... Yeah, I'll kind of just poke around, show you guys some stuff and why I have them or whatever. But uh, this is a my friend's girlfriend's poetry book. Uh, her name's Lauren, and it's a book of her poems. Lauren Caldwell, check her out if you can find her on the internet. I'm sure she's probably got some stuff published. This is a, a print uh, made by my friend in uh, back in uh, art school. And if you guys are interested in uh, following any of these artists on Instagram, because I got a lot of art in here that I know personally, uh, let me know in the comments because I don't want to like you know go through everyone's stuff and tag them and you know. But look at this really nice quality of print. Kind of hard to tell, but it's a great print. Um, one of my favorites. I got it framed. Uh, here's a random drawing I found in the laundry room, uh, or a framed drawing. It's incomplete. It looks like, but it looks pretty dope. Uh, I just kind of got some random. Things I cut out of magazines or postcards or uh, this is actually my friend Omar. He uh, took this photo. I really like the photo. This was uh, my best friend's uncle made this in the 70s or 60s or something. It's a historical piece. Okay, so it's some history. Okay, we got my name on a little block of wood. All right, shout out to Jumbo. We got some good luck coins. Okay, so what y'all know about the good luck coins when you have coins over your doorway it actually imbues good luck not only into yourself but the coins as well um it's you know it's a i don't know if it's a, like an actual thing behind it like but it's like a bit of a ritual of mine okay uh, i recently got this thing it was someone's doing this for a project went back to school and i visited and they were really nice shout out vanessa for giving that to me um on this desk i got a stack of drawings you see on these on my instagram I am uh, <clears throat> going to hopefully make that into a, take all of them, make into a book with some writing, talk about PTSD healing and stuff like that. Um, so up here we got some stuff from my boy Frankie. Shout out Frankie. Uh, he's a great illustrator. He's got that 60s, 70s kind of uh, alternative, folky, hippie kind of style down pat. That's my dude. Okay, there's Aunt and Angela's photographs. Angela's a great photographer. My boy Jared Fowler, your favorite artist, favorite artist. Everyone knows that. Okay, everyone knows that. Uh, some schmuck, <laughs> some guy <laughs> named Monet. Okay, ha ha ha. Also, I don't know if schmuck is a kind of slur or something like that. I don't know. I always thought it just kind of meant silly guy or like a loser sort of person. So I apologize if that is. Um, some marble paper that was given to me, uh, cut out of a painting from an art catalog. My friend Anna. Made this print, dope print. Look at this. I'm just showing, basically just an art tour. Okay, I'm just showing y'all a bunch of art in the studio. So I've worked, these are some portraits I'm kind of working on. This one's pretty much done. This is my boy. 
This is just my boy. I'm not going to say who's who, okay? For privacy's sake, because these are just photographs of people, basically. Um, still working on that one. Don't even... Still working on that one. Okay, here's the desk where it happens. I got... So, actually, let me show you the inside of the closet real quick. I actually got this cabinet recently. Um, I hauled this fucking thing, okay? It's got all my art supplies in it. So, I got some oil sticks, tracing paper. It's kind of dark in there. I just got canvas and stuff like that and just miscellaneous art stuff that I need to hold on to, okay? Uh, I got some... I plan on uh, taking these, gessoing them, and repainting o over them. These, these canvases right here. Um, that's what I did with that one, that one down there. That was a repurposed one. Uh, I don't have a name for that one. It's just a fun little painting I did. Uh, you know, call it what you want. This is another kind of thing I'm just working on here and there. Like, if I get like five minutes, I just kind of sit here and I just kind of add to it a little bit. Call it a slow cooker. A little slow cook painting. Yeah, I got all my stuff here. It's just a bunch of drawings with some Croatian uh, crayons my housemate gave to me. Painter's tape, nice pastels, various, I have lots of like cans and stuff for water, paint brushes, you know, I gotta, gotta have some nice paint brushes. I got some, a lot of this foam stuff, good for some texturing stuff. My uh, art general art box, my go-to art box. Um, it's got wrappers of past, the pastels, pastels, chalk pastels, um, or soft pastels as they're also called, some Posca markers. Uh, these are acrylic paints in a bag by an uh, artist named Simone Johnson. Bodega Cat series. Cool stuff. More soft pastels. Random sketchbook. Um, and then, you know, we got some more prints up here. My, my friend Juliet uh, took this photo, I believe, and got the print. I don't know who did this one, but this is just a really nice print. Uh, my friend Taylor did this right here. And uh, I think that's by someone named Mallory. I forget... Who did this one? Um, this is a little mine, a little positive. That's what I try and do for you guys. And that should also say, and YouTube videos, okay? And YouTube videos. Uh, drawing, I just did kind of randomly, and I actually kind of really like it. It's a nice little thing. Uh, if you don't know Haramas Bosch, you don't know one of the weirdest, most enigmatic figures in art history. Uh, this looks like a painting that could have been straight from postmodernism or postmodern times, but nope, it was made in the fucking 15th, 14th century. I believe it was the 1400s, uh, 1300s, something like that. But yeah, it's a fucking painting way ahead of its time. It's it's in Spain. It's I would love to see it. I've got some more nice prints up here. I got these recently. Nice prints, nice prints. Uh, okay, some print. Let me turn this light off. Let me see how that looks when we turn the light off. Yeah, it's not too bad. We get a little, we'll keep that off for a sec. Uh, yeah, some two prints of mine. Some of my favorite prints I've ever made. I'm just proud of these. Uh, just fun. They inspire me. Just remind me to like, you know, uh, if I'm struggling with something or if I'm having a tough time trying to uh, see something through the end, I remember these ones and how uh, it was a process I was, I was having a lot of trouble with and I ended up really making stuff I was really proud of with that process. So, And here's a drawing by a guy named Robert. Okay. Uh, nice. Nice drawing, I really like it. Another painting I made, it's just an abstract kind of painting. Um, let's see, yeah, an abstract painting. Just, uh, I put some painter's tape down, cut, painted it black, put more tape down, um, painted it white, you know, just kind of layering and then I splashed some colors on this paint. I just really liked playing with the painter's tape. I kind of want to come back to this at some point because it created a really cool effect. Here's my whiteboard if you really want to check that out. Uh, you know, I don't really hide too much. I put my mental health stuff and uh, just random things I got coming on. Just got going. Okay, I'm like looking at it right now and making sure. Yeah, so you can see I referenced this. I want to make sure I got that fucking uh, Cinemaster comment. I got to note it on the fucking whiteboard. So there you go. Uh, this eye poster my friend gave me. Um, the same friend I actually referenced in the video yesterday who, who collects all the uh, vintage stuff, the clothes reseller guy. He gave this to me. I think he actually sold it to me. He gave me that, the Van Gogh poster out there for free through the, through the day, but I bought this off him. Great fucking cool ass poster. I'm sure it was in an optometrist's office, you know, so you can see my reflection. Um, yeah, it's just cool stuff about contact lenses, but it's the eye, you know, like it's the very thing that like allows us to perceive visual art. 
So, you know, it's in my office for that reason. Um, I got a poem that someone wrote in here. I'm going to, like, you can pause it and read it if you want. Uh, when I first read it, I was like, oh, just a poem about phones. But I was like, you know, it's really true, though. And I also, there's a line in here. Uh, Passerby bent like wilted flowers, heads tilted towards the ground. You know, I just kind of thought that was a nice, a little good line. So I just put it up. And I was like, yeah, it's true. These phones are fucking ridiculous. Just some random uh, art show posters. My friend's poster, the one who I had the last show with. She, that's one of her paintings. That's Daniel Johnson. I did that freshman year at college. It just kind of took, that was my first, one of my first uh, real practices with pastel. And, uh, you know, it's, in terms of technical skill and like, in terms of like readability, it doesn't really hold up. Uh, I would definitely, I think if I were to redo this portrait, I would do it a lot better. But, you know, it's a memory, you know, it's because I made something in time, you know. It's probably my favorite print I own. I really gotta say, this one and that one are like my two favorites. It's really tough to choose. I don't really choose. But this is definitely really up there. This is uh, by, my, by uh, my friend Loki in college, college friend Loki. Uh, she fucking did a great job with this. And the, uh, she had another one called, this one's called The Star. She had another one called The Moon. That was great. I really wanted the moon one because it was the moon, but this, this one just had great. This is probably my favorite one, so. And just awesome. Yeah, a great print. Look at, look at like, the water. You can't see it because of the light, but it's a fucking, it's a great print. Uh, one of my drawings, I framed it. As you can, as you see, it's in a frame. Um, we'll do a little, I got some of these from a, I believe this from, like, a family. Like, the kids do some drawings, and the dad or the mom are both right some of the, like, some poetry around it. It's about family and stuff. It's very sweet. It's very whole, wholesome. Okay. Um, we'll do a vinyl tour in a second. I've always wanted to do a vinyl tour. I'll just throw in this video, because fuck it, why not? We're doing the whole shebang. So we'll come back to those, I promise. Uh, Max Beckman poster. Max Beckman is a really, uh, he was a really dope painter. I think he was painting in Germany during the Second World War. And the, it's one of those painters that you first, in my, in my opinion, like you kind of first look, you're like, oh, what's the big deal, blah, blah, blah. It's, it kind of looks, it doesn't look real. But then the more you like kind of learn a little bit about it and sit with some of these paintings and like really kind of put yourself and like try to think about how these paintings were made, it, it, it really, you, you grow appreciation for it. Um, I just love this poster. It was a gift from my friend who made that. So that was pretty dope. Um, this one, warning, warning, a little bit of nudity. Okay, a little bit of nudity. Warning, this is me warning you, okay? A little nudity, but look at this. This is a t-shirt I put in a frame. It's a little too small for me, it fits tight. I can't, and also I can't wear this in public, but um, print by, okay, there were twins or sisters who went to my school and they both made art. So it's kind of, they both kind of hard to remember who was who, uh, but I believe her name, I believe, I believe it was Zoe, and I was Hannah, but it was one of the two, okay? Forgive me, my memory's not. As good as these people, I love this. Just the whole drawing and design and print. I think, uh, especially love just how the and the, <laughs> the feet, the feet, the feet are really like well drawn. I like the the look of the feet and the uh, shoulders too. Okay, I laughed because there was an inside joke about me having a thing with feet. I don't have a thing with feet. Okay, fuck, Jesus. Okay, here's some fake flowers. You know me, I like flowers. Um, uh, something from an old magazine from college. Some, Someone made Nikem. Shout out Nikem. She uh, handmade these bears, and I named this one Boysenberry. He hangs out. And also, uh, let me see if it still works. I don't think it works anymore. It used to have, um, might have to be dork. Well, there was a light, <clears throat> like uh, string lights inside of it. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. Yeah, see? It's probably better in the dark, but. Uh, Max made this for the same class that this was made for, and, uh, it's kind of fun looking at this because his paintings now are just, damn, they're big and abstract and beautiful and colorful. It's fun having a piece of his, his stuff here. Um, I'm gonna put that down. I don't know if you guys, I'm just gonna put that down. So, uh, it has someone's name on it. I don't really want to do that, share that out there, but, uh, yeah, here's the, uh, first show. I had, okay, there it is, that's where, that's, that's what that was, poorly drawn, not even poorly, just, uh, alternately drawn Tony Soprano, okay, by my friend Anna, who did 
that friend over there. Uh, here's another Frankie. There's another Kenny. Another Kenny. Uh, it's Omar. Reminds me, this picture in particular reminds me of uh, my this park near my house in Seattle. Uh, it was. It's not that place, but it made me nostalgic for it. Uh, it's a drawing of mine. Something just kind of funky I put together, and that's the St. Vincent album cover. Uh, a sign I used for vending. Uh, something back there, you know, Borealis kind of thing. Cool, like, Shel Silverstein-esque drawing and poem kind of vibe. My fucking, and my driver's license is up there. My intern from when I got my license. Another Omar photo, photo, uh, something from a client of mine up there, the owl, very nice. Skeletal system, okay. Yep, yep, skeletal system, a postcard from my friend. Uh, some more things. I'm like kind of scan like going over things that I don't know, if personal things I should put on the internet. Uh, print from, I have this print two times. Both are recycled or uh, test prints and I found them and I took them and then I found out who made them later and it turns out someone's in my class. It's just more clippings, magazine stuff, you can pause. Um, uh, design made by uh, artist on Instagram named Flora Decay, went to my school. Some uh, from high school, I had these from high school. Uh, you hear that? Who's out there? You hear that? This motherfucker outside. Just they just come into my they just come into my house and then they just fucking ruin my video. Okay, well anyway, uh, yeah, that's from high school. Snake, I think my friend painted that. I don't know. I just kind of got it from her. This covering event. This is a chair I got. I picked up a chair. Uh, drawing from the same Anna who did the Sopranos and did the thing. Um, this chair is a recliner, just in my nice little fucking chair. Got my backpack, pile of clothes. You never know when you need to change your shirt in the stew. Reupholstered bus seat. Okay, reupholstered bus seat. Classic. I got my sink. That doesn't work. I got my incense. Broken salad bowl. Rest in peace. I got some. I got a trophy from when I played T-ball. Yep, from when I was in kindergarten. I still have it. And this is a trophy I got from middle school for making a win a little little movie competition. I got my projector that projects on the wall. That's my secret. There you go. Projector. My Xbox. You want a game with me? You can. I don't have Xbox Live. Um, okay, vinyls. Like I said, let me just make sure. I got my desk here. It's got various things on here. Keys, water bottle, my yoga ball. That I bounce like crazy on. I got my GameCube, Super Nintendo. I got some paintings in there. My camera set up. Some books. Some files. Yeah. I think it's everything. My fan. You know, I think it's pretty much everything, like, in my office to talk about. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's everything. So let's go to the vinyls, okay? So uh, obviously, I'm basic indie guy, okay? So keep in mind, <laughs> that's my, that's my. <laughs> so in the aeroplane over the sea, uh, cathartic record for uh, when you're having a really tough time, okay? Uh, folk, not even folk, like indie psych kind of thing record great one of my favorites of all time it's on a spinner right now uh dj shadow introducing awesome fucking instrumental beat album full of hip-hop beats super great a little bit of uh i hear some uh, idm in there system of a down okay toxicity you know great album hard metal hard rock thrash metal new metal you know great album uh, I, this is an unknown indie band. I don't know if anyone knows these guys, so I'm just not going to talk about them. This is, uh, Jam and Sam Miller. My bet, my most prized album. Okay. My most prized album of all time. I will give away all other albums I own before I give this one away. This is the Donkey Kong Country 3 soundtrack, remastered and rearranged. Well, not rearranged, but just remastered with all the original samples with no compression. Um, and, uh, it's... Fucking awesome. I love it. Donkey Kong Country 3. Fucking love that game. Might have to make a video about that game at some point. The Graduate soundtrack, Paul Simon and Garfunkel and him performed it. Uh, it's a movie. Are you trying to seduce me, 
Mrs. Robinson. Uh, Good Kid, Mad City, Kendrick Lamar. One of the really great hip-hop rap album storytelling project about uh, growing up in Compton and uh, trying to be a good person uh, when you have bad influences. Great. Uh, Jay Dilla, rest in peace. Every day is Jay Dilla Day, but um, for me, but Jay Dilla, Donuts, his uh, last album he made in, uh, in the hospital. A fantastic collection, just a great album. I would recommend listening to it. Uh, this is a Swamp Dog album I was gifted. Uh, Swamp Dog, I really liked Love, Loss, and Auto-Tune. This one's alright, this one's fine. I just like Love, Loss, and Auto-Tune a little bit more, okay. Controversy Alert, I got an Aerial Pink record. This is before the shenanigans. But, yeah, uh, dedicated to Bobby Jameson. If you're a person kind of like me who just is like separates art from artists... You know, and is like, I can listen to the music, but I won't, you know, fuck with the person. It's kind of sort of thing. Like, here you go. Ariel Pink, this is a good one. He has great music, honestly. I'm not even gonna... He makes really good music. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of... He's, he's a problematic guy, but he makes good music. What can I say? Gus is Pablo. He was one of the, uh, like, core dub, dub artists in Jamaica uh, in the 70s. Uh, the Scientists... Is another, uh, I think he's like the OG, but um, he was the one who pioneered the use of this instrument. I think it's like, I forget what it was called. Melodica, the melodica um, in reggae music. And uh, really great. This is a solid collection of like tracks. It's not an album he sequenced. It was a posthumous release, I believe. But um, oh, great, great album. I love this one. Uh, probably my favorite album of all time, just because I can just listen to it and never get bored of it. The Glow Part 2, like I said, I'm basic. Okay. What can I say? I fucking love this album. The Moon is literally my favorite song of all time. I Yes, I am someone who knows their favorite song, and it is that one. Uh, Miles Davis kind of blue. I mean, it's the jazz record. It is the fucking, you know, you like jazz, you probably have this record, okay? Uh, Disarelli Gears by Cream, you know. Uh, Eric Clapton, a couple other guys. Uh, my girlfriend really likes this one. I'm not crazy about the album. I just like Sunshine Your Love and the, the other tracks I'm not too nuts about. Maybe I should re-listen to it. Who knows? Howlin' Wolf, classic blues. Just fucking blues and blues and blues. You got the blues, you listen to some Howlin' Wolf. Okay, so you might think this is Led Zeppelin 4. And I thought it was Led Zeppelin 4 when I bought it. However, I'm not gonna, I only have one hand. But it is actually uh, Deja Vu by uh, uh, Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Or, and I think Young. I don't know if Neil Young was in there yet, but yeah. Uh, Moody Blues. Uh, underrated, honestly, underrated album uh, from the, uh, the English psychedelic rock movement, um, I guess. I'm not a music historian at all, but yeah, uh, some great songs on there. Really great if you never like rock, you know, check this album out. Check out Moody Blues. They got some good songs. They're really kind of psychedelic and experimental very they have a song on here called timothy leary's dead okay i think this album's from 1969 i think so that kind of gives you an idea timothy leary's dead no 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 he's outside yeah okay johnny cash lot of san quentin uh has probably the best life forms of a boy named sue and he does san quentin twice he literally does it two fucking times because it's like, literally, he's in San Quentin, so. Uh, Prophet King Tubby, uh, another dub or pioneer. Uh, is, you know me, I like reggae music, and I like dub music. Jamaica, you got great sounds, my friends. I'll tell you what. Great, solid, solid project. Fucking, I love this. Pressure Sounds 105. Dope. Deltron 3030, a fucking awesome, 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 um, poignant hip-hop record. Uh, Deltron 330 has three fucking powerhouses of hip hop. Uh, it'd be Dan the Automator, uh, Del the Funky Homo, Sap Homo Sapien, and DJ Koala, all of which are very well respected and very skilled artists in their own right. Highly recommend this album in particular. Uh, 3030 is a fucking amazing song. Great song. Okay. Uh, Prince, of course, you know, Purple Rain. Okay. Uh, do I need to say more about it? 
Uh, only thing I will say is I can't read this shit at all. I don't know about you guys, but I can't read any of the anything on the back. Maybe maybe I can now if I try. Maybe I don't know. Okay, ACD. This is a live album. Some of these I got for free. This was just given to me. This ACDC love out live album. It's, I've listened to the bits all right. Godfather soundtrack. If you want to feel like you're in the mafia. Oh shit. Sorry, we live in this life of ours. Great movie, obviously, fucking stellar movie. Okay, I never listen to this. I don't, I'm sorry if you do, but I don't like Santana very much, so I'm just not gonna listen to this. This looks like it's from the fucking 80s, and it's probably got, yeah, it's literally from the 80s, so I don't even think it's worth it. Uh, here's my cover. This is uh, my cover of uh, 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 fucking, what's this album called? Uh, Velvet Underground Nico. Okay, what I liked about this is you can make your own cover. And normally the band is over the pink banana inside, but instead I moved it. Uh, if you like, I mean, obviously if you like Lou Reed, you already know this album. If you don't know this album, just give it, just check it out. I don't know, just listen to it. Just give it a spin, okay? So here's Woodstock, the Woodstock. And you think, wow, that's a really cool album. Yeah, it would be if you didn't have to fucking uh, change the disc every time because... They have this stupid fucking thing on here. I'm sorry. This is so irritating. We're like, like, all right, side. It's not like side A, side B. It's literally like side one, side six. And then the second is side two, side five. And then the side three, side four. It just doesn't make sense. I don't know who the fuck came up with that. It was a terrible idea. And it really fucks up the flow of trying to like listen to this through. Other than that, really fucking cool um, record. Other than that, really cool. Sugar Minot, Minot, Sugar Minot, either way. Uh, reggae, reggae album, uh, dub like. It was recommended to me by a guy at a record store because of me trying to listen to more dub music. And it's good, really solid, really exciting. It was cool. Uh, this BB King album uh, that's seen better days. I've seen better days. I don't know if I bought it used or if I fucked it up, but either which way, uh, not my favorite BB King album. Honestly, it's not. I think I don't know if it was just the system I was new at the time, but the mix on it's kind of bad. Um, so I would really prefer to have um, some other ones by BB King. And that's it. That's those are my records. Woo! Twenty seven minutes. Okay. Well, hey guys, that was the studio tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, sorry, it's been more visual, so if you're just trying to draw and listen, this wasn't the video. But hey, I think it was cool just to kind of share what my space is like. And I have this fun mirror thing to do at the beginning and the end, and it, it's just two different ones, so it works really well. You guys are the best. Frocula Nation forever. Frocula Family forever. Uh, big talk. Uh, real talk. Yep. All right. You guys are the best. I fucking love you. Take good care of yourselves. Uh, do all the things you need to do. Live a good life. And uh, I will talk to you soon. Let me know if you want what you want to see next. Let me know what kind of videos you want me to talk. What kind of things you want me to talk about, etc., etc., etc. All right. Peace.